So it's transformative training. We're we are vendors to positive intelligence. So um, we we are licensed to give you this training um, because it requires downloading an app on your phone and registering with Positive Intelligence, the main company in California. And so we are we're good to go with that. And I'm I'm Mark Daly Gunter. I'm a registered non-licensed therapist in Colorado, actually. Uh, I'm a current member of the California Bar. I did my weekend in Elbert, Colorado, 2011. Uh, I help support people PQ, shadow work, and couples coaching with Jeannie. We do uh, emotion, emotionally focused therapy. And that's why I got the registered non-licensed therapist thing going, because we have insurance for all this stuff, which is really awesome. My mission is to help others feel good and enjoy life. And it's great because it's taken me around the world. I've done shadow work to, in South Africa and Australia and um you know, I'm not done yet. Um, the heart and soul of the positive intelligence, mental fitness training is what they call the PQ rep. And it is a, uh, it's a 10 second uh, pattern interrupt that you do. Um, and I'd like to demonstrate this with you right now. If you've got 10 extra seconds here, the idea is to put all of your attention into one part of your body. 100% focus for a short burst of time. And the way we like to do it starting out is to take your index finger and your thumbs and just lightly uh, rotate the fingers so you can feel the fingerprints. And you focus in on feeling the fingerprints on your thumb and finger with all your intention. And that's it. And the, what the research shows is when you're able to do that, your, um, you know, your limbic system calms down and you're able to identify parts of yourself that are um, talking to you in a way that you may not hear every day. So that's the PQ rep. And then we also have the PQ saboteur assessment, which tells you uh, it's like a personality style assessment but it talks about different character traits that, um, that are gonna be loaded into your app and you'll get custom um, information for you to work on your saboteurs, your two highest saboteurs during the training. And then in terms of working with the app, the um, participation um, is about really, you have to do, a video on the weekend that lasts right around 45 minutes because it's seven weeks. And so the 45 minute video launches on Saturday. And the idea is take between Saturday and Sunday to find 45 minutes to uh, check out the video, check out Shirzad, who's the developer of this. And he's going to talk about the, the area of this operating system, this positive intelligence you're going to work on. And then on Monday, the app kicks in. And then you can track all of your interactions with the app beginning on Monday morning. And you do that 15 minutes a day. So it's 45 minutes over the weekend and 15 minutes a day. Um, and so then now there's a good idea to get hear from you about any type of goals you might have for mental fitness training like this. Uh, so Eric, what do you think? Have you, do you, have you started to think about a goal for you on this training? Um. Not specifically, not no. Okay. I mean, I thought, yeah, to be, to be I was gonna like, I could make some shit up, but um, actually, right at the moment, uh, no. Oh, that's cool. How about you, Todd? I, mean, I, I actually, I have an idea, and it's around. Um, it has something to do with uh, my interaction with Levi and how, you know, father son working together, how I support him best, how I don't, the ways that I don't support him. So, in a, a, like. Yeah. Yeah, I really like to up my game and how I interact with them at work. That's a great goal. That is a really great goal that you can track. Awesome. How about you, yeah. Todd? And it can change over time. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of different applications for this, but that's a great one to focus on. How about you, Todd? Mine's also around a relationship, but it's my wife, not my son. Um, <laughs> and it's it's kind of 
you know, the first thing that pops in is about slowing down, you know, the, the PQ rep. I, I mean, I don't know anything about it yet, obviously, but it seemed like something along the lines of where I want to be going with this. And so slowing down and before I react, you know, take in, assess, feel, things like that. <clears throat> right on. Yes. I, uh, my number one on the assessment was restlessness. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, let's, you know, react, do something. So to kind of slow it down, take it in. That's wonderful. That's a great goal. That is a very, really good goal. And it, it, when it's based on your understanding of part of you, that's, you know, as a saboteur, it's even better because you can really, you're going to be supported and in drilling into this part of yourself and, and getting good with it, you know, and because there's wonderful parts to the restless. I have a lot of restless. My wife has a ton of restless. So we know restless around these parts and, you know, it's, it's exciting. It's adventure. It's life force caveat emptor. I mean, that's how we are. I'm a seven. So I, you know, I love to hedonism and, and going out. So great. But those are excellent goals. And of course they can change as, you, as, as we go through it. Um, and then let's see. I mean, come on now. The mm. PQ pod experience, right? This next thing is about the Monday meeting um after the weekend when you when you start to do the app for that week on the monday or the tuesday the research shows that if we all get together and we do a really quick processing of what we are what we've checked out and what we what we've experienced in the program it just increases the efficacy over the top so you know this is uh, an important part. And if it's just the three of us doing this training, then we can just have it be the three of us. But that would be a decide decision we would want to make as a pod to see, okay, what is going to be the good day and time for our check-in? And then it would be either Monday or Tuesday. And that brings up the intensity for the seven weeks. Cool. Monday's preferred time to meet, breakout rooms. What's the risk to achieve your goal in the next six weeks? You know, we just starting out with putting goals together. So, but, you know, that's a good question to always ask it. What's the risk? Um, and it just kind of brings in things into focus, I think, as we're moving down. So the pod, that's a great question to ask and doesn't take a lot of time and can be really juicy. So at this point, then, do you have questions? Yeah, Mark, when you keep, uh, you've referenced the app, what exactly is going on on the app? What's, what do we do with that? What What's offered? Yeah, here, let me show you. Here's the app. This is what it looks like on your phone. So you've got these different windows here. The first one is the, um, the daily focus. And they've got this, can you see my screen okay? Yeah. Here's, here's your reps. When you do a rep, it's guided with Shirzad. Shirzad's going to guide you through a rep, just like I did. Just feel your fingertips, right? It's a really quickie. And every time you do a rep, you do this and you get your, your battery charged up for the day. And during the day, the battery goes down and up, depending on when you do your reps. So it's a great representation for your own mindfulness um, capacity. And charging up a battery is a great. And so if you do a biggie in the morning, you can bang it and go 100%. And then during the day, it'll just drain, drain, drain. But you always have this good reserve if you do it in the morning. Or you can do it little bit by little bit. And every time you do one, it just pushes your, your battery up again. And gotcha. then, uh, the muscle is relative. So you just go, it, it factors in all the different things you're doing into this muscle. So you can see yourself growing over months. Like you're, you're, capacity here and then here's where you get your daily focus this is the shirzad video that's that launches it's part of the 15 minutes of every day it's about seven minutes or something like that and then you'll do a couple of pq reps and the phone is going to alert you when those are coming up so it's a guided daily program for the seven weeks that tells you exactly what to do 
And then the other one here is the PQ gym. And these are just your ways you charge your battery is by going into this PQ gym, building your muscle and you do your reps right here. Here's a two minute for tactile, which is the finger one that we did. Tense and relax is like going into your, your muscles and, and really clenching. Moving is like moving your body and stretching. There's all kinds of different really cool mindfulness programs. And if you do what I do, 12 minutes in the morning charges you up to 100% right there. Boom. So that's what I was doing. And then every day, every time I do one during the day, it was like gravy. And, and then you have this, you have a chart on here. This, I don't, you can't see the window, but the chart shows you on a daily basis how you're doing. And it's got, you know, preferred and average and, you know, you can gauge. So if you're a hyper achiever or something, it really can light you up to do this work. And then community, when the, when the first video drops this Saturday, there's probably going to be, uh, I don't know. 2,000, 3,000 other people across the world that are going to be starting at the same time as you. You'll all be having the same experiences. And there is this chat thing going on where you, people are going through the seven weeks with you. And so you have the way to uh, do social media and connect with other people who are doing it. And then, um, yeah, the modules are at the end. And so these are um, different parts that when you, uh, that have like just special trainings in them, special, you know, content from Shirzad. So that's what the app really is right there. And people like it. This is just the app store here on Apple. Gotcha. So, so there's, there's a daily um, use of the app, charging your battery and then everything went through where, and then setting the goals, where is your goal setting? Or my goal setting is that part of the app as well, or is that something different? Or no, it is part of the app. When you set up the app in the beginning, you know all you're doing is uh, you'll we'll, when you pay, you give us your email address, and then you'll get the link to download the app, and um, you'll get your code at that point. And then when you start to set it up, that's when it's going to ask you about your goals, and you'll be able to put that in. And then there's a, a log. It's really great. At the end of the day, when you when, right before you crawl in bed, you can just do a voice memo and just talk about log in your what happened during the day. Um, so it does have a lot of bells and whistles for tracking stuff. Gotcha. And then the weekly uh, check in, the quick check in call. What's what does that look like? I mean, I know you said Monday or Tuesday, but specifically, is it a fifteen minute meeting or is it? I yeah. It's a yeah. fifteen minute meeting. Yep, mm -hmm. and that's a what is so. It's a quick check in of what does that look like? Yeah, that's when um, you know we get on a Zoom call and we uh, one person runs the meeting and it's about like what are you working on right now? What sab What part of the program are you working on? And how's it going for you? You do and just whip it around, and um, we can talk about our goals. I think that's also a good one to go. And then it's fifteen minutes, so everyone, if it's, if it's a small group, it's nice because you, you can talk for a little bit longer. But um, so that'll be that. And there's actually for the pods there there are prompts that there are for for the pod because there's we're, you're going through the seven weeks of content. And so there are some questions that are custom built that we can, you know, check in on. But basically, you don't want it to last more than fifteen minutes. Cool. And, and that's just great. It's the three of us right now, or there's more. Well, Thomas is also interested in it, and then I think um, I think um, Peter also wanted to do it again. Um, so there might be some more people jumping in. Okay. And then I also sent it out to the uh, Thunder Kings, and uh, but I haven't heard anything back from any of those guys yet. I'm I, I don't know. I'm I'm guessing that the Thunder Kings are the other I group in Santa Fe. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Cool. Hey, Todd, I think you were going to say something, and I jumped. Oh, uh, just uh, in terms of the that 15 minute personal physical check in on Zoom. I'm guessing uh, we're looking at Monday for that. Is that what that day to meet Monday preferred? 
Yes. Uh huh. And what time are you guys thinking? <clears throat> um, usually Mondays are good for me, like around four o'clock. Okay. Mountain time. Okay, that that works for me. Noon, I think. Yep. I may be out, and I'll just plant myself somewhere and be on my phone. Exactly. Yeah, right on the phone, man. Right on the phone. Little zoomer. Hey, Mark, are you so when you say, like you're you're going to be doing this along with us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, I know. It's so cool. This is going to be the third time I've done it, and I'm working on different saboteurs this time. So, you know, I start off working on things I'm high on. And there's just so much time to learning, but then when the, the low ones, you know, there's also a lot of meat in there. There's a lot of meat on those bones that I'm low on. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. And the, the app is so cool. You can just adjust whichever saboteurs you want to work on. Um, and then this part of the presentation is really the overview of the positive intelligence program, um, the background on it, what the beliefs are, the research on it. Is this something you're interested in seeing? Okay. Sure. All right, All right here we go. Um, and I, I say we because really I do I do love this program. I've seen it help so many people, and there's so many more people that are going to be helped by this, but you know, the, with the focus, the target, the bullseye is really your capacity to respond to life's challenges with positive rather than negative mindset. And uh, the impact is on all of your achievements, your peace of mind, wellness and health and healthy relationships. You know, I, I can tell my personal story was uh, I was doing, I did the PQ, I did the coaching training and then I'm an immigration lawyer as well. And I started to take on these cases, these political asylum cases, and they were so intense. And they were people running from uh, narco traffickers, some of the worst cartels on the planet down in Mexico. And I was doing research and, and reading about these horrible massacres and this intense political corruption and on and on just gang slayings. And, uh, what was going on in the jails. I got really bad nightmares. I was really tortured with it. And um, it was this positive intelligence program that I really kept doing the PQ reps, calming myself down, staying focused, staying committed. And when I realized, oh my God, you know, I never want to do this kind of case again. Like I, this is not my kind of immigration law. There's other people with different personality styles that can deal with it. But for me, that's it. And then my life changed in a totally new direction. And now I'm like, you know, the kind of cases that I'm doing are really bringing me peace of mind, wellness and health because I'm loving the work that I'm doing. Is that okay? I mean, you know, yes, it is okay. Cause this is what I've, this is what I've chosen to, and what I really need at this point in my life. So, um, the program then, it, 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 it's great. The thing about this whole thing though, is the research because Shirzad was a um, you know professor in Stanford and he had access to positive psychology, neuroscience, cognitive psychology and performance science centers, research centers. And because he's a networker, he's gotten got all those people together, start a research foundation in Stanford. And he came up with the positive intelligence program in that way with all this cross-pollination and um then because it was app-based they were easily quickly get a lot of participants in on it and they got 500,000 participants from 50 countries he prep published the book and uh the whole research that they did and how they came up with these saboteurs is in this book positive intelligence and the, the operating system that we have is kind of a dualistic one where you have on one side your saboteurs and your sage energy. And it more aligns with, you know, 10 saboteurs that over the research is the most common for people and then five sage powers. And these are the ones that are also the most common in people like cross-culturally. And so the saboteurs physiologically exist in the brainstem, the limbic system and the parts of the left brain. Whereas our sages 
our middle prefrontal cortex, the empathy circuitry, and more associated with the right parts of the brain. Of course, you need both our parts. We have both for a reason. And But the, the overall thing is a stress brain or a love brain, because we know that you know the stress brain, you're always urgent, you're always under pressure, it creates chronic stress and burnout. But when you're in the love brain, pleasure, let's bond, happiness, laughter, these are these are the dopamine, serotonin, endorphins that flood us in doing this work and in, in our day-to-day -day interactions. But the results of the research, they determined three core muscles that you want to work on, which is the first one is a saboteur interceptor muscle. It's a tool. It's a it, you get reminded what is that saboteur? What's the what who is that? And the next one is the, the, the sage, really to allow yourself to go into the one, one of the five sage powers and just do it automatically. And then self-command. And the self-command is doing a PQ rep. It's actually commanding yourself, fuck it, I'm going to do a PQ rep right now. It only takes 10 seconds. That's all it takes. And you just cycle through this because when you do a self-command, the 10 second, you're going to listen, you're going to see your saboteur right there. You go, oh my God, that's you again. There's my hyperachiever. There's my victim. There it is. And you can go into a sage and just go, I'm not going to go into that direction. I'm going to do a different energy. And you're cycling through these muscles. So you're building them. And so the saboteur interceptor, this is when you're hearing your judge come in. <laughs> and, you know, these are the ones that they have here. Controller, hyperachiever, restless, stickler, pleaser, hypervigilant, avoider, victim, hyperrational. And um, Jeannie, here's your results. Here's my wife's results. So she's had high rest. Let's look at that. Controller is really high. Hyperachiever, avoider, victim, you know, and then she has hardly any stickler or hyperrational, and neither do I. And that's why I'm curious about those low scores. But anyway, you know, in the, in the whole model, you get to understand a lot of the motivations of all of the parts. And, um, but the saboteur will definitely move you through the negative emotions and it, that'll bring on the fear, the stress, anger, guilt, shame, insecurity that's associated with the limbic system response. And in the sage, we're going to be motivated through positive emotions, empathy, curiosity, creativity, passion, and purpose. And the saboteur energy might generate success, but not happiness because successful on the saboteur side is life or death. And it's appropriate that it generates success in living every day. But the sage power, when you can bring in the sage, it generates your highest success and sustained happiness. And that's because it's a whole different part of your brain that's engaged. And the question is, are negative emotions good for you? Well, is pain good for you? Yes, it definitely is. Again, the limbic system is pain center. But how long do you leave it on there? only helpful for a short time as an alert signal. Staying in a negative emotion hurts your ability to see clearly and respond with empathy, curiosity, creativity, or laser-focused action. So the negative emotion equals a saboteur. And that is kind of controversial because we want to pay attention to our negative emotions and calling them saboteurs kind of puts a bias against them. But because we have this dualistic brain left, right, black, white, and we're working in the limbic system, it has to be simple. So that's why we, we create this equality of negative emotion as a saboteur. You can identify a negative emotion quickly, you'll start to be led to what the saboteur is. Then we go into the sage, and it lives in the region of the brain associated with the positive emotions, peace and calm, clear-headed focus, creativity, the big picture, and our goal is to operate from the sage perspective. And I swear to God, man, it was during when I did the PQ, this is when all my inspiration started coming for this rock opera that I've been doing, Shyster. <laughs> I swear to God, I just, you know, was able to prioritize my art that I'm so, that's so important to me, my music, and to set boundaries and put schedules together and hire people and get support, all this stuff, man. And then, and now it's just coming forward and it's all this sage energy. And when I get scared, when I get, you know, 
downing on myself or whatever, I have a way to come back quickly to the sage so that I just keep barreling forward. And I love that. And here it is, because sage perspective, every outcome or circumstance can be turned into a gift and an opportunity. And this can be also really controversial for people who have been victims of abuse and, you know, really been victimized in their life. Because there's no way you can tell me that some of that shit is not like we turn into a gift and an opportunity. There's no good in it on a massive scale. So, you know, what we do is we start with small things, right? This outcome or circumstance can be turned into a gift and an opportunity. Like when you're going to park your car or the mundane outcomes and circumstances that cause low level of interference in you. This is where you start the sage perspective. And then what happens is cumulatively, you're able to start to look at some of the bigger bad things that have happened in your life, the trauma, and start to unpack the, the trauma and go, well, there is a good thing that happened out of that. Not saying that it was any good, but I can see one good thing. And then that's when you're off and running. You know, the stallion story is a story, ancient Chinese, it's the farmer, you know, stallion runs into his yard and everyone goes, oh my God, this is so great. This is so great. He goes, I don't know if it's great or if it's bad. I don't know. Who knows if it's good or if it's bad? And sure enough, his son jumps on the stallion and the stallion bucks him off and the son breaks his leg, can't work in the field. And everyone comes up, oh my God, that stallion was like a cursed horse. Look what it did to your son, broke his leg. And he goes, who knows? You know, who knows if it's good or if it's bad? And then like the next day, the army comes into town and they say, we're recruiting men. We need all the young men. And they see the kid with the broken leg and they go, oh, he can't go into the army. And so on and on and on, this is the essence of this Taoist, you know, magician-y kind of distanced from it to know that at some level, you know, you really never know. You really never know if something's going to turn out good or bad. So which perspective is true? Saboteur is going to go, this is bad. And the sage is going to be, this is a gift. And again, that's pretty black and white, but um, the answer is whichever you believe becomes true. So that's how we approach it. And then the self-command are the 10-second PQ reps, the nuts and bolts. And um, the operating system, we call this an operating system because once you, you're, you can track. You can track exactly what you're doing for your own mental health on a phone. It's incredible. If you're feeling negative emotions, you stop. You're in the saboteur mode. You do some PQ reps right there to quiet the saboteurs and you're going to activate your sage. And then you'll start to assume the sage perspective that every problem can be converted into a gift and an opportunity. And then you're going to generate the gift by using the sage powers like empathy, curiosity, creativity, and calm, clear-headed action. All the choices that you have in any situation. Is it really possible to just shift from saboteur to sage response, even in tough challenges? The answer is yes, but the speed and depth of the shift depends on your mental muscle strength. And um, that's why I needed such mental muscle strength when I was doing that hardcore political asylum work is because those were really tough challenges for me mentally and psychically. And so that shift that I did over and over and over again was a lifesaver for me. And uh, lasting positive change requires you a little slice of insight. Oh, I understand in a mental way. But then the mental muscle of really forcing yourself into PQ reps that result in a sage perspective is where you get the positive change. So it requires intensive initial practice. But once you start to do it, you get it. You can't defeat a gang of 10 bandits by sending one new fighter per day for 100 days. You've got to go all in. And so it's we're talking 15 minutes a day for six to eight weeks. And that is the end of that presentation. Let me slide show. Cool. Yeah, isn't it great? What do you think? 
I'm all ears. I feel down to give it a try, personally. You know? I mean, it's, it feels like right up the alley, my alley of where I want to be putting some energy right now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm game. Oh, my. I, I mean, I knew ah, my experiments. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Todd, watch out, he's a crazy motherfucker. So, you know, you gotta be careful. Well, did you did you did you Which look one of us? the testimonials on that on that page, the lead page, with all those video testimonials from the Colorado MKP dudes who did the PQ program? I, I didn't read any of them. There, yeah, we <laughs> had a good sized cohort do all this work, and then we asked them for videotaped testimonials about it, and it was really amazing what those guys said. One guy who had a traumatic brain injury and was really doing a lot of physical trauma or trauma therapy. He said in his, his testimony, it's like, this is better than any of the trauma therapy that I've done. This mm. has brought me, and we all watched him because he was really twitchy and everything in his body. And he said, I'm going to commit to a yoga practice. I got to get in my body. I get in my, and he's doing this yoga. It just, he just took off in the yoga. And then you could just see him like less twitchy, his body like changing and, through the, this program and uh that's like that that's a crazy thing to have happen to someone in their life you know that's like that's a big change for someone so that's why i love this this program but i get all excited about this shit because i love personal growth great you know. and so here's the question then do you want to drop the video this weekend or do you want to wait another weekend and let some more men jump in It doesn't. Uh, so as of right now, it's the three of us. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Is there a benefit to having more or does it matter or does it not matter? Um, well, I think that usually the the pods, if someone has to drop out for one reason or another, if there's only a few men they just you know be a dyad so having more people doing it then you know can be good for i mean it's really six to one half dozen the other because there is more time to check in and and, and talk about your discovery with a smaller group so i mean th there is that so that's why i wanted to check in with you because I'm, I'm i'm good to go either way i mean we said we could set it up and this is it and i'm i'm totally good with it what's your thought todd I'm open either way. I mean, I can see the benefit of maybe a couple more people. Um, a couple more people to help hold each other accountable. A couple more people in case people drop out, like you said, Mark. Yep. And what's another week? You know, we can wait and just see if they don't, if we don't fill in, we just move forward. Yep. <clears throat> that works for me. I like that idea. I mean, you know, with the worst cases, there's nobody else to join. It's it's three of us, and great. Yeah, we we don't do it until a week later or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, great. Then we'll do that. So, cool. um, we can go ahead and get you. We can get you the apps. You can download the apps, and we'll start the content to shoot out that next Saturday. So. Uh, you can just go ahead and pay the uh, pay me on Zelle or or PayPal, okay. and it's one ninety nine, and we'll we'll get it uh, loaded, and um, then we'll see who else drops in. We'll see who else comes in. I'm glad we I got to record this. I'll just I'm going to edit down you know the presentation so that I can post it on the email so the men can get some idea of it. You know. So cool. A quick or a couple quick questions, maybe. Um, so for the Saturday, it's a 45 minute video with I forget his name now, but sure Zod. I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's on our own, right? Or do we watch yes, that? Yes, it is. It's on your own. It on our own. On your point, phone. At some point from Saturday, essentially until Monday when we meet, right? Yeah. But theoretically, early on Saturday would be ideal. And then we check in on Mondays at about this same time. Um, 
about how we're doing. And you facilitate this for the most part? That's right. Okay. For the most part. But and then throughout the week. We're, we're, we're also a peer group here, really. I right. mean, we can, because I'm, I'm certified GQ, uh, you know, coach. So I, you know, I can take a, I, we can do coaching sessions like that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be doing any of that in this group. We're just going to be peer to peer checking okay. on just doing our own, you know, work, rolling our own, you know, our own uh, grindstone. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well then I think we're, we're yeah. good. Um, Thanks. PayPal uh, info in the email. So you should have that. So God, thanks for showing up. And I'm really, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be great. Cool. Cool. Todd, we're yeah. in a circle again. I love it. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> so Mark, are you in, are you in Santa Fe, Mark? I am. Yeah, I'm in Santa Fe. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and Todd, if you know anyone you want to invite in, invite them in, you know, okay. uh, I'll send you, I'll send you an email with this recording on it. So you can forward it to someone if you want to know. So, okay, great. Take care, guys.